This episode of EA Sports Game Changers is sponsored in part by Kellogg's Frosted Flakes. Welcome back to Game Changers. I'm Kevin Frazier. For 75 years now, Little League Baseball has been all about loyalty, character, courage, and showing your stripes both on and off the diamond. So for this next segment, we decided to team up with our sponsor, Kellogg's Frosted Flakes, to go inside the world of a Little League Baseball team that really does embody those very characteristics. They're an impressive group of kids who all love to play ball, and no one knows that more than Major League catcher Miguel Montero. Game Changers joined Miguel at one of the team's practices that turned into a day that they'll never forget. Trust your hands. When it comes to the Pirates, whether it's at practice or in a game, you can count on one thing. These Little League teammates have each other's back. A special bond that only baseball brings. We're a team that's been together for a few years. We have great kids. I couldn't ask for a better group. Go out there and have some fun. They're just amazing friends. I couldn't ask for any better. It's a great team. The reason why I love baseball is because of all the people around me. My team is just always backing each other up. But these kids bring more to the diamond than just skills. They bring style, traditions, and big laughs. <laughs> I like baseball because it gets you outside, exercise, because you don't want to be in all day and it just gets you out there. This team definitely knows how to enjoy practice, but they have no idea today's pirate practice is about to change big time. Arizona Diamondback all-star catcher and big league hero Miguel Montero came to see the pirates practice. Nice to meet you. Hey guys, come on over. How you doing, guys? Hey. Oh, that's Good. a cool uniform right there. Oh, nice hats. <laughs> How you guys doing? Hey, Good. Is that a full squad or is we missing someone? No, we got all 12. Oh, I like I black. Right there. <laughs> but he wasn't just here to meet the kids. He was also here to hang. So who's your favorite player? You. There you go. Nice. Good job. Good job. Hey, one more thing to tell you guys, catcher. I use these balls a lot, actually, to catch. Like, I will get on my catching stance, and I will have the coach flip it to me. That's good to work with him in time off. Are you a left-handed, huh? Nice. Montero jumped right into the swing of things, coaching the hitters on their cuts. Oh, that's a good swing. And the catchers on their throws and stances. Nobody on base. Runner in first now. All right. I don't like to be that much sideways like that. Your first step is going to be that way. Make sure if you're going to cross your body a little bit, it's not as much. It's just a little bit, all right? Wow, how many names? So is it unusual for a big league catcher to be out on game day this early on a Saturday morning? Oh, you got a good arm. He needs to go back, huh? Not unusual for Miguel. On the field, he's known for his skills behind the plate. Off the field, he's known for his dedication to the community because that's how much he loves the game. The community here is this uh, bigger support for the team. It's a player for me, it's, it's very important. The Diamondbacks, they do a really good job on helping the community. And that's including visiting young players, offering free clinics, and giving baseball and life advice. You know, just be responsible and all the things that you guys do at school, Baseball is pretty important in life. Bottom line, it's all about off the field is more important than on the field. It's important that way we help each other. As long as we help each other and we respect each other, we're going to have a better world. With the Pirates, the drills quickly turned to show and tell as the players showed off their vintage uniforms and their traditions like handshakes. I'm not good at handshakes. Everybody in the doghouse had a handshake. So I don't. I just go like that. Good job, man. Good job. Let's go. That's an easy one, right? But soon enough, the team taught Miguel how to do their own handshake. Woo! Jeter, do that dance you did. Go, Derek. Go, Derek. Go, Derek. Go, Derek. So what do these pirates want to know from their big league hero? You get dirt in your hair the other night. Where? The other night when he hit that walk off. Bubblegum. They want to know what it feels like to get a bubblegum shower after a walk-off homer. It took me about 10 minutes to get them all out. You kept your mouth open. You said? Yes. <laughs> yeah, they had the plastic. They, 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 they covered it. 
It was a good feeling to walk off over. Kind of walk off is just, it's just game ending, you know? So you have to really enjoy it because it doesn't happen every day. You know, you celebrate it, not probably for the homer, just for the win. At this age, at my age, a professional, in the big league, in the minor league, a little league, it's just a game, you know? And we really forget sometimes, and it's just a game. So they're having fun. As a kid, you have fun, you're going out there, you compete, and that's what we should kind of carry over to a different levels. And, and of course, it's our job, but uh, end of the day, it's just, it's just one more game. D-backs on three! One, two, three, D-backs! There we go. It was an honor to be around him and him giving us advice. Miguel taught me that at this level, it's about having fun, not so much the competitiveness of Major League Baseball, so we just come out here to have fun. In the end, a routine Saturday practice turned into an unbelievable baseball memory. One, two, three. Got it? You know, behind the plate in the batter's box, and when the game is over, Miguel really does show his stripes in so many different ways, as do those little leaguers. But what about you? How do you show your stripes? EA Sports Game Changers and Kellogg's Frosted Flakes want to find out.